Saturday. We got a nice uh, regular Portland Saturday, Portland, Oregon, that is, the final three PD actually. So uh, this ran off and on gray clouds, this little ground is wet. A little so, sprinkles out there yeah. every so often. Right, right. This is definitely an in the house. Or, well, it's a. Well, they say April showers. April showers bring May flowers. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Hey, hey, what's going yeah. on, Oh, man. Nothing. Nothing really. You know, <laughs> nothing, nothing, really. nothing really. Back to school this week was a tough one, you know, after the right. spring break. Right. You know, had a good Easter for the most part, you know. Yeah, that's good. good. Everything is going good, man. God yeah. is good. Yes. I appreciate everything. You know. Yeah. Right, right. So no complaints. It could be worse. <laughs> you know, That's what you y'all know. could be reading about. <laughs> somebody could be reading about me in these uh, right, right, on right. these YouTube streets. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So you know, I'm blessed beyond measure. So I'm good. I'm good. Right, right. Yeah, man. I same here, man. I just been working. Man. I picked up a second gig, trying to you know give myself a little cush push. You know, you know, a little. I had some extra time on my hands, so I figured I might as well just go get some money. I can't help it. <laughs> right? So go I get you some, huh? Hey, man, I can't wait. They're not going to bring it to my door. Here you go. Here's the money you require. No, they're going to get the money away, so why not? Right. That's what I look at. You know? Yeah, I feel you on that. That's I feel you on that one. But it's always good to have a good work life balance, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um... Uh, 
Let's see what 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 you think about this uh this crazy Powerball. You get involved, you got a ticket? No, no man, I didn't get a ticket. What? I can't win if you don't play. I, I didn't play. However, <laughs> I still got time because I don't think we got any buy until about like six thirty, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, about three hours, y'all. About the Powerball hours. is oh. one point one billion dollar billion with a B. A Billy, a Billy, a Billy, a Billy. Bean, baby. Can you imagine? Man. What would I'm, you do? What would you do? Mm. Oh, man. What would you do? We asked that on Facebook. And they've got some funny, uh, <laughs> some good answers yeah, on that, there as well. That's crazy. That's a billion dollars. Bro, a do. billion. Well, 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 I, I think I've ever built. I have. I have to worry about that anymore. Well, yeah. I, I was setting my portfolio, bro. You know what I'm saying? Do some investments and things like that. You know, of course, buy a house or another house, actually. But I really would have one built, you know. Right. Um, travel, man. See I'd, the world, I'd huh? Travel. Yeah, I would. I'd travel. But. You know, in some aspect of it too, I do it in an RV. You know what I mean? Have you ever been to uh, Yellowstone? Uh, no, I haven't. No, I, mean, no, I haven't. Yeah. Which is, I think it's Montana, right? <laughs> but, you know, being a mobile home, hitting the road and that, it'll be all right. Shouldn't it? Right, right. You know, when you drive and you see, you know, you see the animals and things like that. I mean, Oh yeah, across the country, you know. So, what, what people saying they can't hear you? Oh, y'all can't hear me? No, I don't know what's going on. Can't hear me. Now. All right, how about that? Now, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Now, can you hear me? I'm talking. Yeah, you mic might. check one two. Is the mic check this Jill? Mic check one two. Y'all hear me? Hopefully that's better if you in the chat. Right, right. right. Can y'all hear us? Yeah. Anybody say anything? Anybody say nothing? Ain't nobody chatting. But it's all good. It's all good. Oh, I got a thumbs up from my boy Ben. He said he can hear you now. Yeah, okay, that's what's up. Uh, what's Warren, up, Ben? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Warren Bean says, buying land, my Hellcat faster. <laughs> Donate to Mike in June to get the best cameras and mics and then disappear. Hey, 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 Locker roommate Scott Gregg said, yeah. disappear off the grid. <laughs> the number you have reached has been disconnected, <laughs> is no longer in service. Oh, this guy. <laughs> uh, uh, he just said, yeah, bye. Man, see ya. <laughs> Let's see. Makayla Williams says, give, 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 and take care of me with the heart. Oh, oh, nice. Hugs to you, Makayla. Our first supporter, we'll All never right. forget you, girl. So, definitely, so. definitely. We know you'd give. <laughs> uh, well, Janelle, so. Janelle Gaston says, yep, for sure, buying land and a lot of it. A lot of things that would be too much to list on here. <laughs> right. Pretty much, right? A laundry list. Well, you, know, <laughs> well, you know you're going to have it basically. You'll pay off all your bills and, you know, you're going to do this. You know, house, car, you know, set your family up, you know. But then after that, you know. Man, I'm, I'm wild. I'm wild. You wild, bro. Come on, man. I'm going to be yeah, that guy. Oh, I'm going to wild out. I'm going to wild out so bad. I'm going to have my own my own town. It's going to call, be called Michael's. <laughs> Michael. Small population. Michael. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Where at? What state? I don't know. The cheapest one I can find. I'm going to buy a whole city and kick everybody out. Regentrify. We're going to call it G-gentrify because G's coming in and y'all moving out. 
I'm moving out. Everybody, uh, this is my town. I'm right. the mayor, <laughs> the sheriff. You know what I'm saying? The tax collector, whatever. <laughs> I'm at all. I'm at all. This is my. You see, it said Michael. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Baby. Oh my yeah. Goodness. Oh man. And then I'm having. I'm. You know what I'm saying? I have family members. You know, everybody can live live for free. You know what I'm saying? Right. You can live for free on there. Don't just just don't act up. I don't know how you get your money. Get your money your own way because I'm not paying for you. <laughs> right. I pay for you to live. <laughs> You got, you got to pay for your functionality, right? Yo, hey, your extracurricular and all that. Well, that's not on me. You zoom zoom mm -hmm. around with whatever you like. Mm -hmm. right? Exactly. And if I catch yeah. you with some fentanyl, yeah. your ass is gone. Hey, you ain't gonna have to catch them because they're gonna be. <laughs> kick you on, right on out. Hey, you gonna cut I the told the corner, you, I told you no drugs. No drugs. <laughs> You ain't gonna have a hood in your town. No, uh -uh. oh no, we bet not. Mm -mm. You ain't got a 15th Street. Exactly. Oh, we ain't have none of that. None of that. It's gonna be love and prosperity, <laughs> tranquility. <laughs> but I ain't gonna live there myself. I'm just gonna come in and out. <laughs> I'm not living there. Think I'm crazy? <laughs> I got other places to go. Warm up the jet, baby. Let's go. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm out of here. Man, I'll see what I deal with. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Right. Let's see. Uh, we got some more on here. Mary Elaine says, build my dream house for me and my dad, buy all five of my children a house right. and a new car, and of course, give to my three churches, Cornerstone, Mount Olivet, and Bayview Baptist Church in San Diego. All right. All right. That's right right that's on, right real. on. Yeah, she was thinking that out. Yeah, she, you know what I'm saying? Up. She had a plan. I like that. Let's see. Coco Monroe says, I've always Coco wanted to live on a farm and grow whatever I want. I want to have multiple cane corsos, pit bulls, and lions to help me protect that joint. Lions? <laughs> lions? I have dogs and lions? Lion, hey, uh, run, run around the same area. Yeah, I mean, hanging out with Mike Tyson. Remember Mike Tyson had his lion? Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know what Mike what? was thinking. He was wallet. What do you have? Right. Money? Hey, you money. when you, you got money, money, you got wild. That don't, yeah. mean that, that don't mean that you got to take care of the lion. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. right. It's just there. Yeah. That's like it's a. Uh, own, that, you got to have some. Uh, it's like a decoration on You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah you got to have the lion. Lion start here. See, if I was gonna do that, I would just have land with uh, you know, some cattle, right? But like you know, restaurant grade cattle, you know what I mean? Yeah. What are you gonna do with it? Sell it. You gonna sell it? Or yeah. yeah. You know, rotate the. Okay. The, the, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, I'm walling out. I'm walling out. I'm buying the biggest, the best, the greatest. I'm buying an underground bunker that you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Oh man! What you need out of ground? Hey, you me. never know. You never know. Well, I know where I'm going. I'm gonna you gonna be in my bunker? Right. That's what I said. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm gonna have an air, air filtration system. Right, right. I'm gonna have it all that stuff. I'll be, come on, yeah. you you want it? It's in there. All right, we straight. It's in there, baby. Yeah. But well, yeah, man. So oh, good man. luck to anybody that wins that Powerball out there. Yeah, yeah. And if you do, remember yeah. me. Uh, GZ503 is the cash app if you want to send, <laughs> send me any type of uh, <laughs> money from your wins. I would greatly appreciate it. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. You sure? I'm positive. Why you say that? Because you're all about that paper. I right? am. Well, I am. And then you can also send it to Mike and June Show. That's right. Don't forget them. Don't me and him. That. The Mike and June hey, show. That's how we do it. Yeah, that's like Laura said, hey, he hit the lottery. He's gonna buy us some new equipment, hey, microphones, hey, camera. Hey, 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 you read it. it. I read it. Folks, you don't go into the trenches and everything too. Yeah, yeah. Hey, might as well. Hey, if you, you don't, don't play, play, you never have a chance. Yep. Yeah, so good luck to anybody who wins. Hopefully, it's somebody uh, not about ninety-eight years old and uh, one foot in the grave. Uh, right. You know what I'm saying. Right, they love them guys. And I hope it's somebody right. here. Maybe somebody that I know, and we can do business. <laughs> Holla at your boy. <laughs> All right, y'all, we got celebrity news. Uh, BG. Uh, BG, okay. 
rapper, hot boy. Yeah, yeah. Cash money. Mm -hmm. All right. This guy he just got out of prison. It's about two months into his supervised release from federal prison right. on gun charges. The rapper who scored a hit song with Bling Bling has been charged with violating the terms of his supervision after performing alongside other prominent entertainers without authorities' permission. Oh. A federal judge ordered Christopher Dorsey, or BG, uh, they released him on his own recognizance on Wednesday after his arrest, arrest on those charges. Although Dorsey, 43, was let out of custody pending the outcome of the case. Right. Relatively, relatively quickly, his latest legal peril set off a dialogue in which some circles about whether authorities are going overboard and forcing the technicalities of the supervised release when all Dorsey is alleged to have done is try to reestablish himself, himself as an artist. Right. A federal probation officer wrote in those papers that one of the conditions governing Dorsey's supervised release from prison was to obtain prior written approval before entering self-employment. Right. Well, right. He's a rapper. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, you got to do the paperwork. But he had not right. done that before performing at a concert See? in Las Vegas See? alongside Lil Boosie on oh. February 8th. <laughs> he also had not obtained not such fair. permission when living at a halfway house in December. He published the album the album Choppers and Bricks alongside fellow rapper Gucci Mane. Okay, well. <clears throat> Additionally, on those federal supervised release are generally required to reform from associating with any unnecessary with some people, including those that have had felony convictions. Authorities took exception to the fact that both Lil Boosie and Gucci Mane have prior felony convictions, including respectively for possession with intent to distribute a controlled dangerous substance, as well as possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Lil Boosie is pending <laughs> felon in possession of a firearm charges in California, according to court documents. Right. Furthermore, Dorsey put out a video on YouTube on February 16th titled, Really Understand, along with another one called Yellow Tape in collaboration <laughs> with the rapper Kid Kid eight days later on Apple Music, court records noted. Right. Dorsey's probation officer described yeah, asking the musician about his employment choices as well as telling him that he needed to find another line of work. <laughs> According to the officer, Dorsey's right. response was, I'm a rapper. That's my profession. That is chaos, man. What you think? Hey, man, you got to do the paperwork first, man. Hey, hey, he trying to jump the gun. He came right, out. Right. He came he out. Right. Right. And, and they say, hey, hey no. Hey, hey, slow down. Slow. No. And he's like, no, no, no. no. I'm out. I've been gone for 14, 15 years. Right. But you got to. I'm hey, trying to you do You got to do your paperwork. At the point of view, you know freedom of the Well, he, he thought. He thought. And he that's thought, right. Well, that's the issue. He thought. But now, now he might be able to change his mind because, that's not, you know. That's what mommy said. He thought, he thought, he thought. He well, thought. see, the whole thing about it is what people don't understand, the system is so screwed up, is that once, just because you're out of jail right. and you got a tail, which, you know, you got pro parole or probation. Mm -hmm. They got you. They got you right here. They got you. They tell you what to do. They tell you what to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? I remember when I got out, they told, that dude told me I was going back. <laughs> right. They don't say this. He, he, he didn't, <laughs> that was the first time hey. meeting me. He told me I was going back to the gym. I said, what kind of junk is this? You're supposed to get what kind of, uh, I don't want to see you again, you know. What kind of rehabilitation, <laughs> uh, uplifting, hey. uh, morale boosting is this? Hey, man, hey. he told hey, me I was going, he told, he told me I was going back. That made me mad. I wasn't going back just All because right. you said that. You pumped, oh, excuse me, <laughs> but yeah, so, so then, and then you got to pay, uh, then people they have to pay to stay out of probation, right. 
which yeah. means you either a have to have a job, and if you don't have to have the job, but you go, if you have to pay your your monthly supervision <laughs> fees, <laughs> you're gonna go back to jail. Yeah, hey, and then it don't make know, no. I mean, it just it's don't. A, it's a create. You'll be held on a PV for like two weeks before you see the judge. So any job you had or opportunities. It's going out now the window, gone, right? So you're back at square one. And then they say, we just want to know why you didn't let us know you were working. Right. What? Yeah. It, really? It makes no sense. So, so now I don't know what the judge is going to do, but it just it sounds like a lot of people are saying that um, they're doing a little bit too much. Yeah, I, I have to agree. As far that. as, you know, I, give the brother some type of. Like, hey. You can't do that. Do this, do that but right, so we, let's get this paperwork done. We can allow you to do it. now. Now at that point, hey, my job has to be because I'm a rapper. I have mm -hmm. to step my game up. With who but I they're have. telling him that he need to find another line of work. I don't know if they don't like his lyrics or what, but they say you need no, to no. I'm just saying though. No, I'm just, if he's gonna stay in that profession, right? Now you have to work with artists such as just for example. But like I'm just somebody. saying, but okay, look. Okay, you know the old hustle. Oh, I'm an independent artist. Right, right. Exactly. I'm I'm, I'm selling mixtapes out of my trunk. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, but but how do you? Right, but right. how can you show your your money? Right, well, right. you can't. Exactly. You know, I got That's cash right. though. That's why I'm saying that in that case, he has to step his gene pool up in the quality or 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 fame or how you want to say artist that he performs with. Right. Let's say, for example, uh, just because, like BG did that track, uh, High End with E40 now. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know, okay. Yeah. Man was on there. That I think could slide. And I, I don't know all the particulars or how that. Well, that's all probably works. part of it, too, though. It, it's all, but, it's all. Right. It's all in his But if he's them feeling that he's doing too much. Right. Well, if you get out and you hang with, I don't know. But if you're in the rap, everybody right, in the everybody rap game is a felon. Right. Well, uh, I mean, pretty much. Former. Yeah, he's getting out of line. He gets started. Former, you know, ex drug kingpin. I mean, think about it. Right. No, I agree with you. That's I, the whole basis of rap was underground. Period. Well, then he, so. Yeah, he needs he, he 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 needs but a, that ain't, but he needs to wake up and smell the burning bacon that life don't right. revolve around him. Follow the rules and you'll stay out of trouble. That's all I'm saying. Period. He, 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 but they telling your butt to get another profession. Right. So you might have to do something else until you get off paper. Yeah. So how long is he on paper? Did it say? I think it's like four or five years, something like that. Wow. You can find something. I don't know. Everybody has different motivations, and and they are they, who they are in their way. So, right. I wish in the basket that I said that that verse he dropped it that uh, track with the forty was nice. Oh yeah, that was a slapper. Right. That was a good slapper. Right, yeah. Dude, and then we got I got this one here. Who's whose trill burger is it? Is it your trail burger or is it my trail burger? But where's the real question? Where's the beef? Uh, <laughs> Bun B. <laughs> real name Bernard Freeman. Bernard uh, Freeman. Has evolved into a successful restaurant tour following the 2021 launch of Trill Burgers. Trill. But now he's being accused of stealing the recipe uh -oh. for the OG Trill Burger by former manager partners Benson and Patsy Bavarian. In response, the UGK legend has fought a lawsuit against the brother sister duel for misappropriating funds. The Vivaries were also working their food truck business, Sticky Chicken, at the time Trill Burgers was just getting off the ground. That's when they claimed they came up to the OG Trill Burger recipe. After working with Bun B for less than a year, Patsy and Vincent allegedly used money to pay off Sticky Chicken's. Pay off sticky chicken. Right, right. Bun B and fellow managers Angie, Andy Wynn and Nick Skirfield sued the siblings, accusing them of stealing forty-five thousand right. dollars. The company sent a separation agreement, and as of January, the defendants neither returned the misappropriated funds 
right? Nor sign the separation agreement. So they, they got they had sticky fingers? Yeah. Um yeah. Patsy and Benson were initially in control of finances and funneled business income through the now defunct restaurant Sticky Chicken. Right. The lawsuit reportedly includes a text message from Patsy saying she used forty-five thousand of the rodeo money to settle Sticky Chicken's bills. So she told him she texted right. Bunby. I used forty-five thousand of the money of the rodeo money to pay for stickies. <laughs> stickies. That's what the, the text message reads. These bills were pressing and we were threatening to shut us down. Shut it down. Shut it down. But in response down. to Bun B's accusation, Patsy right. and Benson filed a general denial, insisting their actions were justified under the business judgment rule and the funds they allegedly used mm. were reimbursable expenses for the benefit of the company. Uh, then in January, they filed counter gosh, counterclaims yeah. against Bunby, Scorfield, and Wynn. The lawsuit alleges that Bunby is attempting to deceive his partners and take control of Trill Burgers LLC. Mm. They claim that they only recruited Bunby. That's what that says. No, they said they only recruited Bunby to be the face of the concept. But now Patsy and Benson says he's trying to push them out of the business. Uh, let it be known, man. let it be known, Thrill Burgers was not Bundy's idea, mm. nor was it the result of his sweat, equity, or ingenuity. The counter suit reads, Patsy and BJ are the true heroes. This brother and sister duo recognize Contributors to XTX dynamic food scene made thrill burgers possible. They, along with Andy, developed the idea. They, along with Andy, recruited Ban B to be the face. And they, alone, without the financial or operational help of Ban B or his eventual cohorts, Nick and Andy, right. put thrill burgers on the map. Well, wait a minute. Okay, so what? So they're saying Bun B tried to steal a fellow and it was their idea. They're saying that they brought Bun B on to be the face. Right. Right. Bun B had, had no experience or nothing. So now all of a sudden now they're saying that Bun B's trying to take over control. Because he got uh, well, everybody think it's his shit. And so Oh, well, I mean you you did bring him in because he was gonna be the face. Yeah, you put on him as a was partner. But, well? uh, I don't know. So Bun B fell in love. Let me continue with his oh, rant. Right, Bun B fell in love with the Smash Burger concept nice burger. and decided to come on board the Trill Burgers team. It was not the Sorry. other way around. Bun B was invited to the party. He I did not start it. We do not know how much more of Trill Burgers money. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Out of character. We do not know how much more of Trill Burgers money the the Bavarians misappropriated because the Bavarians never provo provided their former partners with requested documentation. Right. So basically, they're trying to say Bun B is just nothing but, you know, right. it's not his. <laughs> well, so it's getting like nasty. That. But right. so sounds they're like saying that. Be yeah, we took forty five thousand from you, but because we, because Trill Burgers ain't yours, right? We can do that. Well, that's gonna come down to lawyer in contract. Oh man, that's yeah, that's that, I that's, mean, really because it, it, to me, if you bring him on to be the face of yours, uh, well, but there's still particulars and um, right, measurements right. where. Right. where you know, as yeah, far as to me too. were you us to meet for you to get paid or whatever. Right. But it just seems like it sounds like Bun B has taken a trill. It was a pop up. Right. Then I think it was a you know, a little, right. a little food cart. Card, yeah. A little food cart. Now it's a brick and mortar. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And uh 
the sticky chicks or whatever they got, <laughs> or whatever they jump they got, they probably ain't hitting. Right, right. You so know what I'm saying? So now they want to. Hey, Jesse, hey, wait a minute. Yeah. But that's the only thing about business, man. Make business sure you get all your paperwork. paperwork. Gotta have your paperwork. Once again, order. once again, these last two man. stories is about paperwork. Man. Make paperwork. sure your paperwork is in order, it's man. Paperwork. And if it ain't, yeah. get it in order. You gotta grind Ooh, with that paper. You gotta secure your attorneys and then conversations and your yes, best sir. interests. Yes, sir. How many people we got up in this joint? Give us yeah. some love. Show me some love. Throw some hearts out there. Who's in there? Who's out there? Show some hearts. No love. No love. That's all good. I had love. on the set. I had love on Easter. I had love on. Do you have good Easter? Yes, you did. All right, well, uh, this guy right here, <laughs> he didn't have a great Easter. This, this guy no right good. here. The business. No good Easter. So, no chocolate bunny. No chocolate bunny. No chocolate bunny. Uh oh. Where? You're driving ashtrays. What's going on? Oh, man, it's my phone. Play out. It's my phone. It's my personal contact device. Let's see here. Um, oh my goodness. But yeah, this guy right here. Oh man, this is. I don't even know what uh, this is. I think they probably get this. Actually, you know what? No, this is it. This is it right here. The music you're hearing right now is dedicated to this next article I'm about to read. That happened on a lovely Sunday afternoon, Easter Sunday, at the New Generation Church in Dallas, Texas. Sometimes they say this bigger in Texas. Damn right. And guess what? Sometimes they're dumber in Texas, too. You feel me? Ah! This one is for the ages, baby. Cut. Cut. This wild, and I call this one PK. Wild and on Easter. PK. Wild and on Easter. New Generation Church in Dallas was a oh let, let me hit my uh, let me hit my uh, my Michael Cronkite right here hang on yes hi welcome this is Michael Cronkite yes New Generation Church in Dallas was the scene of a murder on Easter Sunday according what? to police what yes wait, a murder wait. Okay, oh, oh, you want your other one? No, okay. keep going. Keep going. <laughs> That's what you want to hear, huh? That's what you want. This is a Grim Reaper of all Grim Reaper news this week, y'all. You get a Grim Reaper, y'all. Go ahead. Um, oh, Go ahead. According to the police, 31-year-old youth minister Denzel Branch was shot to death by the pastor's son, oh. according to police. According to police, <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> oh man, uh, the suspect stated that he had an affair with Branch's wife before their divorce. Police records reveal that Joshua Bell My Andrews literally was charged in Brant's death. Bell is also the son of New Generation Church leader Eric Andrews. Right. right before the shooting that happened, officials stated that Brant and Bell had an argument that turned into a physical altercation. <laughs> eyewitnesses, fight, <laughs> eyewitnesses explained that Brant punched <laughs> Bell in the face. See? Through the, through the open window of the vehicle, that's a Andrews was sitting in, and 
Bell retaliated by pulling out his pistol and firing several shots. Down. Shut him, shut him down. Shut him down. No, hey, my woman, you can't do that. I think you gonna push me around? Anything, my woman? No. Bill told police that he followed Branch and kept firing his weapon. <laughs> he stopped only after he saw Branch laying on the middle of the road. Yeah. The victim, a father of three, later died from his wounds at the local hospital. Rest in peace, my brother. For the arrest affidavit, the suspect also stated that he had been involved in an intimate relationship since May 2023 with Branch's ex-wife, who divorced Branch around November 2023. So he was hitting it before they even. Hey, well, she's probably telling him, well, you know, it's, we already got the paperwork, and it's okay. Oh yeah, they, yeah, they tell you yeah. whatever you want to hear. You, yeah. but you know what's but up. To, yeah, and you in the church. You in the uh, and you uh, you know, Sorry. minister. Yeah, yeah, uh, be doing that. The junior minister or whatever. You should come on, man. Me. Come on, we could go all kind of ways with that. Bro. Right, right, right. Yeah. That that and on Easter too. He just had it. They must have been in the church pew or something. <laughs> He he some do it not dog. some hey, it, all it takes some man is just a little something, a little few. But when he sucker punch dude, pa! See he got a physical, physical obligation. That's a hey, fight. No, look, look, dude That's came out with the pistol. He's like, I've had it. I'm a preacher. I'm a preacher. Hey, I'm a preacher. Hey, this is a real one. No, he ain't a real one. He ain't a real one. He killed he killed a man over somebody's over his ex-wife. He, right. he, he ain't a real one. Well, you know. He, he was scared man, to death. He, he got been shot. After her. He got Yeah. That's the only one that he had any sway power with. You know what I mean? But the pastor's son is packing. <laughs> Make it yeah, make sense. There's some other deeper his cat, his his cat is to, walking around to, or riding around because he was in the car. Right. Right. The pastor's son riding dirty. He riding something. <laughs> Well, you know. Oh my goodness! Okay. <laughs> That's ludicrous. Woo! I hope y'all having a good time out there. Uh, what what yeah, is yeah. looking like? Give me some love. Show me some love. Give me some love. Give me some love. I hope y'all enjoying these stories. These stories are factual. These are funny, but factual. Right. We just put our little spin on them because you know yeah. this is how we do it. You know, I, we could be doing. Uh, other stuff, but right. it's all good. It's all good. It's but this and this is enjoyable to, for us. Now we got some local news, man, and we got some. We got some. Right. I don't right. know what's going on with Portland. Y'all nasty. Y'all nasty out there. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, let's go to this first one here. Um, coming out straight out of Portland, Oregon. Coming straight out of Portland. 11 year old girl has filed a nine million dollar lawsuit against uh -oh. Portland Public Schools uh -oh. and others claiming an after school program did not protect her from a sexual assault at school. The lawsuit accused employers at yes. Scott Elementary in Northeast Portland and those working for an after school program there of negligence and failing to prevent sexual assault on a nine year old uh -oh. third grade student in 2022. According to the lawsuit, right. throughout the girls' third grade year in 2022, there were several incidents of sexual assault by four male students at Scott Elementary. The lawsuit is asking for $9 million in damages from Portland Public Schools, Boone County, and the Latino Network, the nonprofit Latino Network, which runs the after-school program and ran amok and didn't protect that child. The case, how was the how okay so that's a question. Was that go ahead? How were the uh the assailants? Um that's <laughs> coming up. Yeah. I okay, yeah, I said that's what I said. I should just uh should the case lays out a My series bad. of alleged attacks made by mm. made on the third grade. Third grade, y'all. Third grade. Mm, mm, mm. What is going on with these that, kids? I, how is this? Uh she's she's eleven now. No, no, no. I mean, the uh, people that harmed the baby. 
they're probably around the same age. Okay. They're okay. they're that's classmates. Cool. They're right. Okay, that's what I was going to say. She's classmates. A, are, yeah. You know, in the school, it could be a you know a couple grades. Old right. Right. Old. Right. No, so I just want to clarify that. Let's see. Uh, For my own person. On an unknown date during the 2021 school year, a classmate touched her genitalia mm -hmm. over her clothing during a class taught by a district educator. In March 2022, another student kissed her without permission. And in April of the same year, two students in the after-school program threatened her, followed her to the bathroom, locked her in a stall, and took turns sexually assaulting her <clears throat> against her will. The father of one of the male students involved learned of the incident from their child and reported to staff at Scott Elementary. Right. The lawsuit claims that Portland Public Schools interviewed the then nine-year-old <laughs> girl without <clears throat> immediately notifying her family right. and suspended the two boys involved for one day. Right. They got suspended for a day? One day. The lawsuit claims that in the days after the alleged attack, the nine-year-old's father removed her from the school. Right. And now 11-year-old did get support services from Cares Northwest after what happened and now attends a different school. One day. That's messed up. Oh, one, one day. No, yeah. Man, it just is, where is these kids learning these kind of behaviors at? Man. You know, and then they manipulate and work together to plan this. Right, right, this right. Age. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I, we wasn't thinking about none of that stuff. <laughs> not at no, not we, no nine, we, eleven we're years old. To we recess to play some basketball, man, who, or some soccer, jungle gym. You know what I'm uh, what's that one game y'all remember yeah. we used to do the the boards? Oh, the board and gym. Oh, oh man. On the peg. Oh yeah. yeah exactly that was, like that. Or the uh, the group passes. Climbing up yeah. the ladder on the road. Mm -hmm. We had we had we had stuff like that. We didn't have technology yeah. stuff. Right. We had right. stuff. Physical, mental, eye hand coordination. Right. You know. Dodgeball. So, <laughs> bing. <laughs> bing. But right. yeah, bing. man. I, my, you know, my heart goes out to that little girl. Yeah. You know, that's just that's just traumatic. Not good. That's not good. So sad. So bing. sad. Bing. We're gonna move on to this one. Uh, Thank you. This Go one. Ahead. This is hey. We hey, gotta keep it real. real. That's, that's, we gotta keep it real, y'all. Y'all wanna gotta... hear this fake shit that's on TV or whatever? You know what I'm saying? Right, that's right. fine. You're not gonna get this everywhere. Real uncut, you know what I'm saying? face, West Coast style, baby. So, man, Mike and June show. So we bring it to you live, uncut, just like you like. Okay, this one I call y'all nasty. Y'all nasty. Oh. Coming straight out of Washington County. Coming straight out of Washington County. On Thursday night, four men were caught by an undercover child protective sting uh -oh. conducted by the Washington County Sheriff's Department. Washington County Sheriff's Department. The men were charged with learning a minor and first degree sexual corruption of a child. During the sting, investigators <laughs> used multi, multiple dating apps, social media sites, and other online platforms to pose as underage boys and girls. Right. The people who contact who contacted the profiles and offered to meet a person they believe to be a child for sex. Right. When the when the individuals arrived to meet the child, they were arrested by law enforcement. They did the Chris Hansen on it. She uh what was yeah. it uh catch a predator? Hi, I'm Chris. Yeah. Hi, I'm Here's Mike that. G. What did you bring in the bag? What, what, what'd you bring in the bag? You got the dildos, yeah. you got the butt plugs. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Yeah, I read all this stuff. And before. how do you and how you, know she's you said yes, the younger the better. Right. I we've got your transcripts right here. I'm, I'm Michael Hansen. Michael Hansen. I'm Chris Hansen's black brother. I'm Bro. Michael Hansen. Hey, man. You're a cop. Okay, let's see here. These nasty ass men arrested have been identified as Matthew Goldman, 30th Tiger, you nasty motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Rodriguez Garcia, 27, the Forest Grove. Forest your ass back there, you nasty. Oh my goodness. 
Uh, Geraldo, Geraldo Serrano Garcia, 25 of Hillsboro, and Ruben Overa Gaona, yeah, 54 of Forest Grove. You nasty motherfucker. Nasty. He was also you know arrested. Better than that. He also was arrested for a search warrant out of Washington County for giving false information to a police officer. <laughs> detectives he believe that guys making moves happen. Detectives believe they're making more victims of these men, especially Rodriguez. Right. That's His nasty cool. ass made statements while talking to the decoy that he had previously engaged in sexual contact. With other minors. Oh, she snitched on yourself. Hey, so, uh, you need to be called. Uh, yeah, cool. oh, that's what you cool. get. That's what you get. <laughs> you get sailed up with Diddy. Woo! Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. All right, y'all. This next one. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm your pusher mama. I'm your pusher mama. I'm your mama. I'm your mama. I'm your pusher in the attic. I'm in Lake Oswego. What you need? Here's some coke. Here's some weed. <laughs> oh, man. Coming straight I'm out of Lake Oswego. A Portland woman has been convicted of dealing drugs to kids out of her Tesla with her toddlers in the car, according oh, to court documents. Yu Zhang Havat, now 34, was arrested in May. 2023 by Lake Oswego police after a sting operation. Sting him? Undercover uh, officers communicated with Robert on Snapchat where she went by the Sodium Night Church. Night Church. Night Church. You want know, some Night Church? It's me, <laughs> Night Church. When taking, when talking to area teens looking to buy drugs, officer <laughs> arranged oh, a cool. drug deal at the Happy Sparrow Cafe where Robert wasn't so happy after she was arrested <laughs> and her two children, ages two and four, were oh, found in the car. Mm. A substantial amount of drugs, including marijuana, wow. vape cartridges, alcohol, uh, silly psilocybin mushrooms were found in the car. Mm -hmm. The children were placed in protective custody and later returned home. Uh, old girl was charged with first degree child neglect and unlawful possession of controlled substance and plead, pleaded guilty on February 14th. She was sentenced to 10 days in jail and required to pay <laughs> a $2,000 fine for each count, right, right. along with a three year supervised probation. Under the probation, supervised or under supervised? Oh, no, she's supervised. She's supervised. Oh, she needs she to gotta make that muscle. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We just talked about that. Supervision, supervision baby. <laughs> Give it up. You want to stay out? Oh, you don't got no money? Guess what? We got three hots in the cot. <laughs> Some cold sandwiches. It's all you, player. Your choice is yours. Oh, how about well, how do I pay you if I don't have a job? <laughs> That's not our and they tell you. That's <laughs> not our problem. <laughs> what? Right. What? <laughs> You just can't. Well, then you just told me to go ahead and not play over the head man. for some money, hey, do bro. some crime time. Man. Come on, make it make sense. You, one time, bro. They so, got me from work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't really say why. Uh, didn't they know that I was working? They didn't. Know, they came and got you they from got, work. Yes, because they didn't know you was at, you was working. Right. But yeah, I'm working today and you just cost me my job tomorrow. <laughs> right. right. You idiot. Yeah. That's I mean oh, I believe. You know, uh yeah, my attorney got together, man. Hey, that's wrong. He's working. Leave him alone. Right, exactly. They don't want you to do right. Let's see, we got the uh, so you got the mama call. What on the uh, I guess, man, anybody call anybody on there? Anybody on there? How many people we got in there? Right. Make some noise, y'all, out there in the TV land. Make sure you like, subscribe, What's with the chat going. So. Yeah, man, let me know you're out there. What we got? What we got? What we popping with? What we popping with? Oh, there's some we got, chat. We got seven heaven. What's up, seven, y'all? Yeah, now say, hey, sound effects. Sound what it do, mama? <clears throat> What it do? What's up? What's up? What's yeah. up? Yeah, yeah. So up, we got the uh, 
Okay. So the pushing mama under the Push probation. Mama under probation. She is prohibited from using drugs or alcohol and must undergo a substance abuse evaluation evaluation along with any follow up requirements. Okay. Okay. So yeah, she's yeah. But she, but, but she got off what easily, right? And she she's right. out on Tesla, Tesla with kids in tow. Come on, let that be me. Oh man, they, they burned me. Fluid. They burned me underneath the jail. Right. They ain't gonna say get my cell ready. I ain't going nowhere. You know, so what up, though, Black Superman? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's see here. Uh, Ciao. Growaholic. Grow uh, uh, fourteen houses in go. fourteen houses in Oregon worth more than five point seven million were forfeited on behalf of the United mm-hmm. States after being used to interstate drug trafficking. The U.S. Attorney's Office, District of Oregon, announced on Monday the fifth the owner of the fifteenth property right. agreed to pay the government four hundred thousand so the property would not be forfeited. Okay. The properties were owned by 53-year-old Fayo Paul Hong from Houston, Texas. What was his name? Fayo Fail. Paul Paul Hong. Hong. Okay. From Houston, Texas. Right, right. In July 2023, Hong had previously pleaded guilty conspiracy to manufacture marijuana and was sentenced to 30 months in federal yeah. prison in yeah. five years supervised yeah. release. You got to According Supervision. to Supervision. According to court documents, Wrong brought several houses in Oregon using different identities and used them to grow and process marijuana. The marijuana was then transported to states where use is still illegal. Oh, no. From August 2020, 2020 to 2021, Wrong's organization trafficked more than $13.2 million in black market marijuana. We didn't pay Uncle Sam his taxes, a man. Four, a 14th month investigation it started. Was legit day, wasn't it? Man. Wasn't it legal in most places? No. Still not legal. Well, now I'm just saying. There's no. states that in which they're legal. I mean, Oregon is legal. Yeah. So he yeah he can grow here. Right. He can't go grow here. You can sell what he grow here and sell it. No, you can't sell here. You, well, you can, but you have to have a license. Right. He's black market. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying why do black, black market? market? Well, why do? Um, because he in it why why he made thirteen million. No. In a year. No. No. Trust me. I, 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 that's I why got, he did. The that's zeros, why he did. You know what I'm black market. You're but, saying why do black market? Well. I, you know, you can pay. I just, I just don't think it's wrong. Uh, wrong about doing it right. Wrong about doing it right. About doing it right, being legal, follow the system. I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But you know, know they gonna get theirs. That's what it's all really about. Is them to get theirs or whatever it is you're doing. If you benefit and you profit, they won't sign. Uncle Sam, tell you, it's the biggest pimp in the world. I, man, I, I don't know about y'all. I've never seen him, but I'm heard he's a tall white dude with a white uh, beard, but he had a pimp suit on. It's a red, white, and blue hat with the matching uh, short dog, long tails, uh, jacket, and pants. You know what I'm saying? He gets his money. I personally have never seen him. If anybody does happen to see him or get an opportunity to talk to him, can you tell him to call me? Because I need to talk to him about something because he's getting all my money. Man, that's what he do. But, yeah, no. But yeah, so he said that uh, but 13.2 million in one yeah. year. Hey man, yeah, that's why see, I don't know. Give it up. Oh no. That's just, <laughs> just money. Money, money. Money. But look, he got snacky now. Well, I mean hey. Easy come, easy go. Wait, wait a minute. Let's, you don't okay, know how let's, much. Let's, uh, keep going. let's keep going. Let's see what's up. Complaints from neighbors. Oh, shit. Let's uh, keep going. Uh, crime lady with law enforcement belief that Ron was leading a large black market of marijuana operation. Right, right. Uh, they found nearly 33,000 uh, 33, marijuana plants, 1,800 pounds of packaged marijuana. Right. 
23 guns, nine cars, 20,000 in money orders, and more than five five hundred ninety-one thousand dollars in cash. God, he was he was a growaholic though. But I'm just saying, but who's to say, you know, he got lawyers and stuff. He got if he got 13 million, right? He should have you know, he, he he gonna have some money, he should have some money coming coming back. Getting out, yeah, that's, see, that's gonna, out. Be, yeah, that's gonna be the thing. You know, get what I'm saying? Up it somewhere else. He's better at 13 mil. Hey, if he's going dirty, go dirty, man, because that's unmarked money. Yeah, you know, what that's what I'm saying. saying. They ain't getting it, they ain't they getting they cut. They can't get their cut. I'm just saying, ain't getting his cut. He ain't man. getting it, he gets mad. Man, he gonna get his cut no matter what. And he got a uh, he got a major holiday coming up here, man. You better file him, man. You you better better file. As a matter of fact, we filed your turn. No. No, we got time though. We got another week. So we got uh, taxes, just, you know. But we got we got dummy of the week coming up. But dumb, dumb, before dumb, we go into dumb, that, dumb, make dumb, sure dumb, we dumb, let y'all know we dumb, got dumb, the cash app. Cash app. Mike and June show. Mike and June show. Uh, June is appreciate strong, all your support, June, all yeah, the yes. donations that you can. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, That's right here. Commercial break. Dummy of the week goes to Robert J. Branch. Robert J. Branch. And Jose D. De La Cruz. Two people have been arrested coming out of Lynn County. Coming straight out of Lynn County. Two people have been arrested for drug dealing after allegedly fleeing from a car they set on fire. Right. But returned to get their rifle on March 13th, according to the Lynn County Sheriff's Office. Right. Deputy. Deputies responded to a car, report of a car on fire at a rock quarry. Right. A witness said the car had been lit on fire for multiple people who had been target shooting at the quarry. The suspects have reportedly left behind the AK-47 rifle before fleeing the scene after lighting the car on fire. Officers who responded to the scene <laughs> found a Volkswagen sedan that had been reported as stolen, completely consumed by flames. While deputies were investigating the suspects, came back to the scene to collect the AK-47 they left behind. <laughs> they got... <laughs> I ain't right to say, it, man. But that... That's what you get, you big dummies. You big dummy. You're in a rock quarry, shooting off guns. Burning up somebody's car. Who knows what right, car you're right. in? Right, But you up. leave your gun. But you leave the AK. The, 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 the equipment that you took out there to play with, the Today toys wasn't that a you good day, brought. Was it? Today wasn't a good day. Was I'm going to bring my toys outside. But I don't want nobody to know that I have these toys. Man, that's stupid. That's so I go dumb. hide in a quarry and shoot. That's just dumb. Boom, car's on fire. Oh, my God. I'm going to drop my gun and I'm going to run. No, they set it on fire. They did it on purpose. Oh, oh see, that's you. They were wild. You big dummy. They're probably drinking. Woo! 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 Okay, yeah, he's back. Your boy's back. That's what's going on. 
Oh my goodness. All right, man. Let's let's get all these dummies dummies of the week. Let's go into uh, and lot. don't forget we got a we got a dear Mike and Jill. Dear Mike and Jill. Uh, and we got sports. So uh, let's see here. Let's where are we at here? Oh yeah, here we go right here. Uh, sports news: Kansas City wide receiver Rasheed Rice is being sought by police <laughs> in Dallas. <laughs> In an investigation, ooh, excuse me, of a major accident on Saturday. <coughs> What's wrong? <coughs> oh, a police call she obtained by the Dallas Morning News confirmed that the officials are searching for Rice in connection with the crash. Uh, the the spokesperson told the newspaper that a driver in a <coughs> Chevrolet Corvette. <clears throat> and a driver in a rented Lamborghini were speeding and both lost control of the vehicle while the Lamborghini hitting the median wall and causing a chain reaction collision involving four other vehicles. The police spokesman told the morning news that the occupants of the Lamborghini and the Cobras just ran from the crash site. She said four people had minor injuries, including two who were taken to the hospital. That would have been me. I would have been right there at the hospital. I would have probably peed on myself, had a little shark, something. I would have been like, oh, no, I'm public. This is public community. I need extra money for this. It said, as of Saturday morning, it was not clear whether Rice is facing charges, and his level of involvement in the accident also is unclear. He turned himself in. He apologized for his role in a massive car crash, but never really said <coughs> what his responsibilities were. Right, right. Uh, AKA, whether or not he was behind the wheel of one of the speeding luxury cars right. that caused the wreck. But he did say he met with Dallas police over it all on Wednesday. He promised to. Cooperate. Well, you better cooperate. It took you about a week. You know what I'm saying? You walked away from the crash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody looking for you, you big dummy. You walk away. You let the homie stay there. <laughs> take the tickets. Right. Right. Move on with yourself. <laughs> what? What part of the game is that? We all. We all. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We all can't go. Hey man, he's probably feeling entitled. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the the other people. Right, y'all stay here. Right. And the lady said they didn't even help the uh the people that are hurt. They just walked away. They didn't check on nobody. Nobody said so let's get out of here. They said you know what? Let's get out of here. We're you out can, of here. You can take them out of the spot, but you can't take the spot out of them. Yeah. Yee. Oh my goodness. Let's see here. Now we also got some more. Uh, Sports news with the uh, sports news with the the future of the Kansas City Chiefs and the Royals in Kansas City, Missouri, were thrown off on Tuesday after boulders rejected the sales tax measure. That have back major renovations to Arrowhead Stadium and help fund a new ballpark for the major league team. More than 58% of the voters in Jackson County rejected the plan, which would replace an existing three eighths of a sales tax that had been paying for the upkeep of the Truman Sports Complex with a similar tax that would have placed, been in place for the next 40 years. Mm. Jesus. <clears throat> Chief President Mark Donovan, who already teased the possibility of the Chiefs leaving Jackson County, <clears throat> said the organization would do what is in the best interest of the fans in our organization right. as we move forward. Right. As a Chief Ambassador, 503 enlisted the Kansas City inflicted. Right. How do you feel about that? And also, from what I understand, is that the owners said they weren't going to upgrade like their uh, locker rooms and stuff and whatnot. 
Like, he ain't paying no money for that. Oh, how do you feel about all this? This is your team. Uh, you know, first of all, you got to take care of your employees. All right. <clears throat> true. True that. Now, we women, you know, I, I just, just the way I see life is the prescription in which I pay for it. You know what I'm saying? They go, you know, they got to work it out. Now, we've been winning. You guys don't want to pay a little bit more. And I don't live there, so I don't know all the politics behind it. You know what I mean? Right, right. But if it was, if it was so here, like it was here in Portland, it was whatever. I would, I would vote to pay a little bit of extra money because it does bring uh, financial gain to the entire city. So it trickles down. <clears throat> True that. But, but, you know, I don't. my thing is, us taxpayers are tired tired of paying billion dollar right. uh, owners. You know, go pump some more oil. You know, right. Do something. Don't right. take it out of my pocket. My pocket's already leaking. You know what I'm saying? Right. And right. you want me to uh, fifty eight cents or whatever it is on the dollar or whatever? No, no. Right. You want to find it? You want over half fifty eight cents? Right. But I'm just saying. But if you want it, you get it. You got the money, y'all got the bread. You charge them. Charge yeah, the, the twelve dollar beer uh, yeah. times twenty thousand people a game. Yeah, I, you know, they're probably drinking. You know, I mean, you I, put all the numbers together, y'all got, y'all got it. Yeah. <clears throat> so don't ask me for it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I see that side of it. I, you know, I, I don't, yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't understand I, that. I know I'm going. I, I understand that you, you want you. So you tell me you want something for nothing. You no, but that, but you no, I'm saying know. you. This is your house. <clears throat> right. You want us to upbuild your house, like the door fund at the church and whatnot. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then, in order for me to come to this place <clears throat> that I'm being taxed on, I gotta pay an arm and a leg. <laughs> I gotta pay an arm. Now said, drink, "Damn, drink some water, Klondike." Man, <laughs> I gotta drink some. Uh, yeah. So, but you know what I'm saying, right? I, I, yeah. It costs an arm leg to come in here, right? Uh, a hot dog is uh, eight dollars for a little funky uh, Oscar Mayer. Hey man, ain't no worse. You know what I'm saying? Legends. That, that that's what I'm saying though. But do you you don't want to pay for that? Well, it, I don't want to. I, 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 Paul Allen put up his own money for the uh, right. Well, yeah. You know what I'm saying yeah. for the Motor Center. I don't know. I, again, I don't live there, and, and again, being a taxpayer here, in, in town, don't fiddle foul around because this is your Kansas City team. What are you Just say, I don't live there, bro. I but don't you know love there. there. I don't know what you don't live there. You love there, though. Right, right. So, so I can do it from. Well, I'm just saying, if you did it from afar, how would you feel? They're going to figure that out. Trust. Me. Well, there is no other option. I don't well, know I don't know. Then what? They just say there'll be no more Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> no, I'm just saying I don't think they're they're going to do well, renovations. To that Arrowhead that's Stadium, that's what they want. Yeah, it's, it's to me, man. It's all to me. What I think, oh, you know, end up someone <clears throat> come in, they gonna do it. Again. That's probably what they want, but that's too that's, much money. That's, yeah, but see, I, I I don't blame myself. Okay, I go to the facility. I want some new shit. We're the champion, right? You know what I'm saying? So, can, can we get a new stadium? Now, that's going to cost yeah, you the taxpayer. Can. You that's can't on your own dime. Okay. Because you won already. Okay. Winner. No, I hate you. All right, let's move on because this guy is never going to, he's never going to see it a different oh, way. Champ, man. Come uh, on. Two times back to back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never been done. All right, speaking of back to baby. back. Speaking of back to back. Go All back. day, every day. Go back to Three, school. Three, six, five. Go back to school. Back to school. So you know, uh, we just had the going back to the women's NCAA tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At yeah. the Motor Center. Yeah. All right. These two, <clears throat> there were two different three-point lines on the March Madness court at the Motor Center. Right. With two different lengths. Uh, the issue was apparently not discovered until Sunday after four 
Sweet 16 games were played on the court in Portland on Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. There was a brief delay ahead of the Elite Eight matchup between North Carolina State and Texas, and the two mm -hmm. coaches agreed to play the game anyway. Right. Both teams always switch sides at the half anyway, so they played the game the same number of minutes on each basket. Right. But the three-point line, one was incorrect, one was right. Oh. Oh, but so they have been playing the game. Yeah, but they're saying they're giving them equal opportunity to, to miss on a longer one or a messed up one, but make it on that one. No, no. They're, they're just saying, well, well, we'll just play with it. Oh, okay. Because they, okay. they would have had to come in, had them, uh, they had to redo the thing, okay. and then it, this is on ABC or whatever. Right, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. So then they both go ahead and say, yeah. So they're like, well, but to me, it's like whoever did it, you know, they was high. You know, somebody is here that was like, that. well, this I, lot, they, they weren't probably even from here, probably got some good, some ooh wee. And, well, you know, but they make those floors. Yeah, but so they have to install them. Right. Right. So, right. Well, so yeah, but how was it wrong, though? That's the thing. Was it wrong? By measurement. Distance. The measurement. Yes, the distance. Oh, it wasn't the same. That's no good. No, no. Remember that? So, uh, yeah. I don't know. Who cares? I don't care about that junk. All right, let's see here. Uh, uh, this one right here. Play with my dad. Play with my dad. Bronny James, little LeBron, the prince of Akron, will enter the prince. NBA draft dun, dun, dun. after one season at S Southern California. Oh, get that man. <clears throat> that was shortened by the recovery from his cardiac arrest. The 19-year-old son of LeBron announced Friday on his Instagram account that he also plans to retain his college el eligibility and he will enter the transfer portal. Mm -hmm. James averaged 4.8 points. Ben loves these, <laughs> these numbers. And 2.8 rebounds while starting six of 25 games for the Trojans. He shot 37% from the field. 27% from the three-point range and 68% from the free throw line. He suffered cardiac arrest on July 20th during a workout. He was found to have a congenital heart defect that was treatable. So Bronny is he keeping said, his he, options open. Oh, he's trying to go to Stan School and get into the pros. Well, well, this is my thing is because he's got Rich Paul, he's got Clutch Sports behind him. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Clutch can all you know. Clutch has the pulse of pretty much the what's NBA. Going on, right. What's going down? Right. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't, if you were Clutch, you 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 doing it? You making money? Right. right? <laughs> so right. Uncle Rich Paul mm -hmm. is gonna tell all the teams don't don't draft them. Don't draft him, right? Mm -hmm. So if he doesn't get drafted, he's a free agent. He can he can get signed by anybody. Oh. So he can get signed by the Lakers, right? Play with his dad. This would be his dad's final season, and then his dad can walk off in the sunset as the king of you know the NBA. Right. And I got the chance to play with my son because I don't think yeah. I don't think he he. he He's getting too old to where he can right. play with Ronnie and Bryce. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. I, Bryce I, is what a couple more couple years more away, years, like, like, and I don't, I don't see Bron. Nah, yeah, I think no. he's probably like one more year. This might, I think next year might be a swan song. Yeah, yeah. My boy Chris, shout out to my boy Chris, was talking about what up, Chris? Like the uh, the tournament that they had in the middle of. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I was going up and he retired, turned to the LeBron. Oh yeah, I said that too. I said that too. Yeah, I I knew that as soon as he won that MVP trophy and the Lakers won that, I said, "Watch, once he's done, they're gonna name that trophy after LeBron." He's the king, homie. He's the king. He's the king. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so Bronny, what he said, uh, he he only shot uh sixty six percent from the free throw line. Not good numbers. But you know your name carries more, and then even, even though, well, and even if I'm a GM, 
and I oh, know that they want. Little. Yeah, I'm a, I might well, sign you numbers, yeah. in the second and third round. Where I don't know how many rounds the NBA got, but I might sign you up and play uh, play them play they blood. Yeah. Hey, you want Le- you want LeBron? You want to play with your son? We're gonna trade. <laughs> what you got over there? You know what I'm saying? That's how it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's not. We're gonna pimp him out, right? Somehow, we're well, you know, gonna get some. We're gonna get some stuff out of you, right? So, but yeah, y'all, we want to thank y'all for rocking with us. We got yeah, a year yeah. in June coming up. Uh, this is our last sports segment right here. The Buffalo Bills traded four-time oh, Pro yeah. Bowler yeah. Stephon Diggs to the Houston Texans Man. for draft pick compensations on Wednesday. They had a rebuild. The Bills received a 2025 20, second round pick in exchange for Diggs and 2024 20, sixth round pick right. and a 2025 20, fifth round selection. The Texans acquired the pick from the Vikings when they traded their 2024 20, first round pick to Minnesota last month. The trade comes days comes a day after Diggs responded, "You're sure to a social media users." Declaration that he wasn't essential to the Bills quarterback Josh Allen's success. So the diva Stefan, get your step. Get, get your step. step. You wasn't doing it. He was kind of a go-to guy there, though. He was. Uh, he was a good pull for uh, defenses. I mean, to try to play out defenses on your uh, your game plan. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. You got a uh, you got a game plan for him, but his problem is. Uh, you know what I'm saying? His thong was always in a bunch. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he was always crying and complaining. Yeah, uh, all on the sidelines. If you don't well, get the ball. Over there. You know, maybe give it, you know, well, the Marshall ain't playing, playing so oh, yeah. Houston, Texas coach, he, he's 40, for, for, former 49er coach. Right, right. And he don't he don't play around. They're not yeah, going for that right. stuff. Um yeah. Yeah, so that's it for the sports. Um, we got the Mike in June. I'm going to have you read the Mike in June. Um, Mike in June. We got uh, Facebook birthdays. Facebook birthdays. Uh, we got Dominique Taylor. Dominique Taylor. Happy lady. Yeah, happy birthday, girl. Uh, four or five. We got Mark Green. OG Mark, Mark, Mark Green. Mark Green. What's up, bro? bro? AKA happy Reggie birthday. Miller. Uh, his birthday is on the 9th, as well as Jay Rhodes. Jay Rhodes, Jay Rhodes is also yeah, on yeah. the 9th. Happy birthday. Well, happy birthday. We appreciate y'all. We thank y'all yes, for following indeed. us. Happy birthday. Happy uh, birthday. May God bless y'all. We'll see many, many more. Many, many, many more. Here you go. We got the dear, dear, Mike. dear Mike and June. I'm, yeah. writing, I'm writing this anonymous because I don't want friends and family knowing. You got to my- my Speak dis- up. You kind of- I don't want my friends and family knowing disgusting, knowing my disgusting situation. <laughs> I'm dating this guy. He's 32, so he's younger than me. Wait, man, we already had this one. What? Okay. Well, uh, he's 32, younger than me, and, and he is my. He's a nice person. I've never met. Nicest person I've ever met. We get get along well. He met my family. My kids love him, and everything was <clears throat> going great until he told me his deepest darkest secret. He like he likes to play with his. <laughs> you can, got him. Can you can you can you come on? <laughs> yeah, he likes to play with his food. <laughs> Okay, and, and is attracted and is attracted to it. I don't know what he d- does with it. I did not want to ask, but it makes sense to me why he why he takes up an hour to use the bathroom. I'm completely disgusted, but he, he says it. He was a shithead, shit heart. <laughs> And I felt like I was in love with it, with him, but I don't know how to face him again. Anytime he texts or calls me, I feel like I 
I can smell the cookie coming from the phone, and it makes me sick to my stomach. Can you guys give me some advice on what to do? Oh my! I read that. I was like, "Oh Lord! Oh my God! This okay. can't be real." You broke up with him. Just delete oh, that. Oh my goodness! Like you can't. You can't. Oh my goodness! You can't. No. Just, oh, come I, on. I, I, I applaud you and him actually for him coming forward and telling some shit like that. Oh my goodness! There's no, I, 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 I'm not gonna get. Oh conscious. my goodness oh, gracious, alive! Right, that's crazy. Right, he's eating scratchy. What's that? And he said, uh, you know, that's crazy. Oh man, I don't, man. Want, I don't even want to discuss that shit. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? That's disgusting. No, but I no, no, no. But listen to me, y'all. Coming from the love doctor, right? Oh my gosh! You know, I, I am an expert in love, right? So, what you have to do, look at me, what you have to do is turn that shit into, uh, what's that, uh, put it in a blender and embrace it. You know what I'm saying? How they say, you know, you make lemon, that lemonade. So, take that shit. <laughs> And make uh, no. what's that? Uh, what's that stuff? The juicer, you know what I'm saying? And embrace it. If he's a sweetheart, you know I mean? if he's a sweet, if he's a sweetheart, embrace it. Hey, no, embrace he it. Has lost it. No, embrace it. He there's has nothing, lost. There's nothing wrong. Man. At least he's coming back. He's he's coming man. back. He's coming back in the room clean, right? Are you nuts. Do it smell? Oh, it smell? Yeah. Oh, no. Do what he want to do in there. And it's now she playing for... with shit. No, no, no. no. no she didn't have bro. to. She didn't have to play with it. I'm just saying it's... for her to make, you know, or maybe make some organi. Um... No, man, come on, man. No, no. Or the toilet paper, no. or you know, like That's... a little organi that you can put is... in the toilet and play. Uh, you know. I'm sorry, y'all. No, I mean. You... Listen, if this is you, if, if this is, okay, you've told her what your advice is. No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not done. Says, I'm not done. Says, no. play with the shit. Yeah, play with it. Play with it. Get them green army man or something like that. See, like this. Be like, oh, oh, Johnny, look, baby, I got you something. Oh, 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 look at this. Look, honey. You can put the, oh, you can put the pterodactyl God. right there. The pterodactyl right on the fruit. Oh, See? Oh, you got to put, oh. embrace it. Embrace the food. If this is what he likes, he likes to play with this, let him play with it. Leave the man alone. Let him do what he wants to do. There's nothing wrong with that. Right? I'm sorry. He ain't out, he ain't out here doing that now. He ain't I'm out here sorry. doing fentanyl. You know, he ain't uh, racing kids. Oh, he ain't shooting up cars, gosh. burning up cars. You He's just playing with food. Absolutely. He's playing with food. Eating so, shit sandwiches and everything. Yeah, else. make them one. No. Make them one. No. Sit on that damn um a, a, a shit set. A shit set. Take those two uh <laughs> take those two <laughs> bread, oh them God. inbreds like we talked about shit. last week. The no. two ends. Right, no. Take those two ends. <laughs> take the end, put that thing right there, and That's take gross. that dump. Oh no, take that, that dump. Is, put that, that on gross. there. See, here you go, baby. I know <laughs> I know what kind of guy you is. That, oh yeah! No, 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 no. <laughs> hey y'all, we want to thank y'all, man, for hanging out with Mike and Jill, bro. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Don't listen to him, y'all, man. I'm telling Embrace you, it. He is nuts. Embrace man. it. This is what I've been dealing with. Embrace you know it. No nigga with that. Embrace it. Mike and Jill, you know what I'm saying? Y'all have a wonderful Saturday. We gonna enjoy it. Yes, you know. It's Saturday. Saturday embrace. Saturday embrace. Saturday embrace. No, no. Saturday embrace. No, no. Saturday embrace. Saturday embrace. Saturday embrace. Saturday embrace. The boo Embrace the boo boo. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Mike and Jill every Saturday, 3 o'clock. We are out of here. We out of here. Peace. Hello. Hello. Something's wrong with the mama phone. I keep trying to call and go straight to voicemail. Yeah, he didn't have it on. Oh, my bad. I was charging. I totally forgot.